You know, one of the funny things about having written The Glass Castle and talking to readers and listeners about it is how many people are so removed from their pasts. You know, I think a lot of us have these sort of secret pasts and we think we're worlds away from it, but you're never truly, you never truly escape your past. So I may seem worlds away from where I grew up, but we carry these things around with us. And I think it's incredibly therapeutic to confront that past. I thought I'd sort of reinvented myself by coming to New York and becoming this snazzy gossip columnist. But by sitting down and telling my story and telling the truth, I really came to terms with who I was. It's funny when I talk to readers and listeners because different people get different things out of The Glass Castle and out of Half Broke Horses. I one time heard somebody reading The Glass Castle and she read it with real anger. And that's not an inaccurate reading, but it's not the way I would have read it. Some people after they've heard me talking about the book, they say, wow, I now understand the book differently. If you can truly be honest and open and make a connection with the reader or the listener, then I think that that's what really matters. I think that that's what people are looking for in a memoir.